All right, guys. So we're here at AMC Town Square, and we're, of course, chasing cinema. Mr. James, shoot, Happy New Year. Dot com. It's been a beautiful year, my brother. 2015. And it's coming to a close. Oh man, I thought last year was good. This year, ten times better. Isn't that amazing? Oh man, I saw so many good movies this year. Saw a lot of bad ones too. Gave out my first uh, ever zero star this year. What movie was that again? <laughs> I gave out two. Unfinished Business and Vacation. But you know what? You have to tune into our uh, our awards because you might find out that's not even the worst movie of the year yet. But nonetheless, that's neither here nor there. Today we're here to review Joy. The new film starring Jennifer Lawrence, Robert De Niro, Bradley Cooper. We've seen this mix before. Yes, and directed by David o. Russell. We've seen this uh, this quartet um, with American Hustle last year. The year before that, Silver we Linings saw Playbook. Silver Linings Playbook. Yep. Um, he was, you know, a director who's really connected to his actors, and now they are moving on with Joy. And a lot of people don't know what Joy is. If you watch the trailer, it looks a bit out there. It looks a bit odd. Come to find out, it's about the woman who invented the miracle mob. Now. <laughs> they didn't even know that. I... You didn't know that. Oh yeah, wow! It's what about, a horrible it's about trailer. The woman who created the, the Miracle Mob, and uh, a lot about the QVC is involved. So I'm really interested in seeing how you tell this story. Granted, I did read about her, and I know that David Russell really wanted to do a movie about strong women, independent women. And I'm interested. In this, and if any, if you want to get anyone to do that role, who do you get? Jay Law, who's literally probably been the most efficient actress of all time. Not saying she's the best, but if you think about it. For her years of acting and her years of being nominated and winning, like she's doing very, very well. I don't know if anyone's been at that record of like how many years she of acting. Get, if she keeps up with yeah. the st with the statistics she has, she's going to be and, Meryl Streep. And there's a lot of there's a lot of buzz about her being nominated for this. So I'm really interested in seeing it. Um, she won for a Silver Lines Playbook. She was nominated for American Hustle. Um, I'm ready. She has two wins, no? Yeah, I, actually, she might have won for American Hustle. No. I think she has two wins, though. Two wins. You so know, was it a winter? I believe it was it was American Hustle then? American Hustle. Yeah. She she did one for American Hustle. Oh, I even remember that. That's how long ago it felt. Alright, how long is the movie? Uh movie's two hours. And I'm interested in seeing how this movie plays out. Well, let's, and Bobby De Niro, of course. Well let's see outside of Hunger Games if she can catch fire. Or bring us joy. Mm. Okay, so we just got out of joy, or you did. I haven't got to see it yet, but based on what you're about to say, is whether or not I will watch this film. So, Chasing Cinema, do you have joy or are you mad? Well, <coughs> quick fact check. I, we were wrong. Only one Academy Award. I was misled. Two, mis <laughs> two nominations. Three nominate. Well, if you include the one she won, three nominations total, and one of those were one. Um, she, she was nominated for Winter's Bone, nominated for American Hustle, one for Sublime Playbook. Anyway, Joy is a movie that I think is really going to be a separator for fans, all right? Because I think the first half of the movie is like a fantasy. It, it's a very, very odd tone. Like the movie opens up with characters from a fake soap opera, and you get into this world where like you kind of feel like nothing's really happening. A lot of it feels like a Wes Anderson movie, you know? Like it's it's real life. But it's this articulated, very odd version of real life. A lot of characters are very are strange, and nothing feels very centered and real. Um, and, I, and that, to me, was my favorite part about the movie, because it was so offbeat and strange, and it had this weird flow about it. And then the second half kind of brings it right back to reality, uh, in which she's trying to sell the Miracle Mop, and she's going on QVC and uh, with Bradley Cooper, but before QVC's really known thing, Joan Rivers uh, is there, the, oh, an actress playing Joan Rivers is there. Um, and, and, you know, it's her trying to sell this and her basically becoming an independent businesswoman. Um, I enjoyed this film. And to be honest, I think I enjoyed it more than American Hustle. But those who remember my thoughts on American Hustle from last year, I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. Like, I love Silver Linings Playbook, and I love her in Winter's Bone, but I wasn't crazy about uh, American Hustle. I thought it was an okay movie. Um, didn't really hit me like it hit Louis Vuitton. But this movie I enjoyed more to which I think most people are going to like American Hustle more. I think because of the oddity and the strangeness of the first half, like the character who plays Joy's mom, um, it's just like she doesn't leave her room, she watches soap opera 24-7. It's just this really odd feeling. You have to kind of see it to understand what I'm saying. Uh, but it has this really interesting dream element to it. And then the second half of the movie gets very, very real and it's basically about her struggle to become a successful businesswoman. Uh, Robert De Niro is, is all right in this. I don't think he gives anything enough to be nominated. I think Jennifer Lawrence will be nominated, probably, 
I don't think it's the year that she'll win. I don't think it was like her best performance yet. I don't think it was something that was really worth an Academy Award. But I think because someone, everyone is like in love with her, and and she does give a good performance, that she probably will get nominated. But to me, not my choice. Um, Bradley Cooper is is is. is it's not a cameo, but he definitely doesn't have much to work with here in this movie. He doesn't really have a strong presence. This is honestly a movie that I think people are gonna have. They're gonna say, "Oh, I love the first. I love the second half. Hated the first half." Where I'm like, I like. I was the opposite because the second half of the movie gave us a really kind of grounded story, but something that we've seen before and something that didn't feel really original. However, that first half of the movie, I was like, I was laughing, I was cracking up. But the other, there was, but how I know it was probably just me is because most of the other theater was quiet, and I was. <laughs> You know how I do, uh, just totally in, in laughter. But I don't know if that really communicated everyone else well. Uh, but overall, a good theme, a good, a good story about being a strong woman. Um, and like I said, good performances, but nothing to go over the moon. About. Worth a watch? Absolutely. <laughs> this is by no means a, a bad movie. This is a solid, you know, a better than your average movie. But I think that it's going to be polarizing. Kent, did that sell you in watching this film? Nope. That was a no. All right, chasecinema.com slash joy, written by Louis Vuitton. That we can get his, his perspective on how he felt about it. The big Jennifer Lawrence fan. He'll have to tell you himself. And don't forget, guys, Point Break Review is already online. Check that out in the big eye. Uh, obviously, Hateful Eight. Yes. Obviously, we just enjoy. Obviously, Concussion. The and Big Short. And also, The Big Short. Yes. And then, don't forget, upcoming is our favorite films of 2015. Yes. That one's going to be exciting because I'm so curious about your favorite films. Yeah, I'm curious about yours. I'm really interested in seeing what you list out because I, I, hey. I remember following you and now I kind of lost it. If you had a to guess, how many of the same films will we have in the top ten? Five? Really? Five? No, I'm asking you. Over or under five? Well, last year we had more than we expected. Yeah. Um, I would say four. I had beginning and out of nowhere though, remember? Uh, yeah. That was my number that two favorite nowhere, film. Yeah. Uh, number four. I'm gonna say four. Yo, four films will be the same. Four films, and I'm gonna. I'll, but I don't want to say which ones there because then it might spoil what we have. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Um, I'm gonna throw this out here. Yeah. I actually don't know, but I think. Do you already know your top ten? For um, the most part. For the most part. Okay. I think you're gonna have uh, that Korean horror film out of nowhere or Japanese, Kabuya. <laughs> no what? The Korean uh, horror Japanese film. No. What was that called? The Babadook. Yeah. Well, that was Australian. Oh. <laughs> from last year? Oh, was that last year? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll shut up right now. No, there was It Follows oh, yeah, this Netflix. year, um, Unfriended this year. There's a few horror Oh, yeah, Unfriended yeah. you're going to have probably. Anyway, um, so check out that review, guys, and get ready because we're chasing and myself. Yes. <laughs> I have a lot of things coming up. Yes. And we're about to unveil big Chasing Superman. Yes. And uh, for more information on that, you just have to wait. We'll reveal it to you guys. We'll announce it. Just make sure you're part of us, a part of this with us during 2016 because it's going to be huge. And but, we're going to be documenting a lot of stuff. Yeah. It's so going to be fun. You think, well, you think we're, you see us around town now? Wait. Um, as far as 2015, though, it was a great year. Love it. A wonderful year of movies. I want to thank everyone who's watched and subscribed. Yes, thank you so much. Commented and been a part of all of our movies, you know. Um, a lot of people joined a, a big conversation with us about Star Wars. Um, and we, and, you know, people said, you know, 30 or 40 minutes, what a review. And we probably could still go because me and him, every time we see oh. each other, continue talking about it. Uh, I could actually go really long. Like, yeah, now that I'm I've sure seen it. I'm sure we could it, do it like a two hour like, podcast. Um, I'm sure we could do a two hour long podcast. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, make sure to tune into our top 10 of the year coming up soon, as well as all of our reviews. You can click that eye right here and you'll find everything. Hey, closing out 2015, kick some butt no matter where you are and what you're doing. Yeah, leave all that nonsense in the past and look forward to a good year. And don't, don't forget, ChaseyCinema.com is known as the Film Lovers website. <laughs>